Graph the function on your own paper, then choose the correct graph. We have y equals log base 2 of x plus 2 minus 3. So first we're going to graph y equals log base 2 of x, and then we're going to shift it. y equals log base 2 of x is the inverse function of y equals 2 to the x. So I'm going to do a t-chart for y equals 2 to the x and switch the inputs and outputs because we have an inverse function situation here. So this t-chart is going to be y equals 2 to the x to start with. Negative 1, 0, 1. So 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. So this is the t-chart for y equals 2 to the x. Now, to do the logarithm t-chart, because you have an inverse function situation, I'm going to switch the x and the y. So you're going to have 1 half for the x, 1 and then 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Just like that. And there's a generic t-chart you can use for logarithms if you would like. Negative 1, 0, 1, and then 1 over b, 1, and then b. So you could fill this guy in too, or you could do exponential growth and then switch them. Now I'm going to plot the points here. So 1 half and then negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 1. And with a logarithm graph, you have a horizontal asymptote. And that's through x equals 0 to start with. And if you shift it, of course, that'll change. But anyway, here's what your graph should look like for the logarithm. It should kind of curve sideways and go out like that. So now we're going to do the shifting. We have x plus 2, and remember it's x minus h, and that means this 2 is going to make it go 2 to the left. And then for the negative 3, that's going to be 3 down. So take these points that we plotted, shift 2 to the left, and 3 down. So this first one is 1 half negative 1, 2 left, 1, 2, 3 down, right there. The next point, 1, 0, 2 left, 3 down. The next point, 2, 1, it's going to be 2 to the left, and then 3 down. The asymptote is also going to go 2 to the left, so 1, 2. Let me draw that. Okay, so your graph of the logarithm function is going to come up and then curve through these points and just kind of continue curving out this way. All right, so there's the graph of the logarithm function, y equals log base 2 of x plus 2 and then minus 3.